Hello, and welcome to some Silver Crown! That's right, we're doing some Silver Crown racing. It's been so long since I've been able to race this car. And uh, if you've seen my previous ARCA race, or my previous USF 2000 race, you know that I'm actually off on a Monday for once, which means I get to participate in a lot of races I don't normally get to as much. And uh, that includes here the Silver Crown. You're here on the Monday time slot that uh, Nick and Gavin like to run, although Nick doesn't seem to be here today. Gavin's here, and a couple other familiar names. No Nick this time. And uh, for some reason my paint isn't working. I don't know if they changed the... something about the paints or something happened to my paint job for the Silver Crown, but I'm this boring gray monstrosity. But uh, what I'm doing right now is half qualifying. <laughs> I'm going to purposely put in a slow lap so that way I can be patient off the start and shouldn't have anybody near you behind me. But I will be in front of guys that don't plan on qualifying, if there are any. So, uh, I want to be ahead of guys that maybe are so uh, unconfident, maybe, with their with their driving that they don't want to qualify. So maybe I'll be ahead of some guys that might be a little unsure about where they're going to be. I don't know if we're going to have any people like that in this race, as I almost hit the wall. Maybe I'm that guy. But, uh, <laughs> also, I don't want to be near the front because this is, unfortunately, kind of like a super speedway. If you were upset I didn't do any Talladega last week, well, we've got Las Vegas Super Speedway here today. You thought they were done with Atlanta. Well, apparently they've made Las Vegas a Super Speedway as well. At least in the Silver Crown. So, looks like I have successfully bombed qualifying on purpose. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if I'm even starting ahead of anybody. Looks like a couple people, maybe. Ideally, I'm going to... Uh, do, do, do be ahead of a couple guys, but yeah, if I'm way in the back too, that's kind of what I'm going for. So, uh, pretty nice strong. P4, P4. Pretty strong field. 3.4 according to Race Lab. And uh, names that I recognize from watching Gavin and Nick's uploads of this race. Uh, we also got guys like Mitch in here. Like I said, Gavin's here as well. And, uh, yeah, plenty of, uh, iRacing celebrities. <laughs> as far as I can, as far as I'm concerned. So, looks like I, uh, did what I needed to do there. Looks like we're pretty much going to be in the back. That's what I wanted. So, just waiting on three guys finish their laps. Not sure. I don't know sh I don't know if this is the right approach, but it's the one I'm going with. Super speedway racing is not my favorite, but hopefully this will uh be different enough to uh be interesting. People are like, "Man, that guy's slow." <laughs> Of course, we do just want to keep up with the draft. This isn't a car where you're likely to get a wreck that you have to check up for and uh, not have a caution brought out. I'm thinking if these things wreck, they're going to be popping up in the air like popcorn, and there's definitely going to be a yellow out. So, um, who knows? Maybe we won't get any yellows at all, and I'll wish I had the track position, but I think I'm happy with what I got here. I actually, uh, in open practice beforehand, someone was asking about the Wayne set, if someone had it, and Gavin said, yeah, sure, I'll share the Wayne set. And so I just kind of yoinked that when he shared that with everybody. <laughs> it feels pretty good. Um, even if the default usually is pretty good here as well. All right, we're going to get going. 
First silver crown race in a while. One lap to green. Just happy to be here. Look, <laughs> all first time doing strength field split, so let's have fun. Good idea, let's have some fun. Fuel should be good, everything should be good, good, good. No tires in this series, don't need them. This car is usually about tire heat anyway. I'll just be riding for a while, trying to keep up with the draft. You know, hopefully not get uh, lost behind a big pack or anything. Oh man, I'm so happy to be here though. Maybe not necessarily a Las Vegas Super Speedway, but just in the arc, or not the arc car, but the uh, Silver Crown. Kind of blinking there, David. I might give David a little extra room as a 1.6. Safety rating. Other than that, though, we got some fours all around us, so. He might just have a 1.6 because he blinks a lot. We got someone in front of us that did not, that did not grid up, so suddenly we are uh, starting 20th. It's interesting. Hopefully I don't do something stupid because it's been so long since I raced this car. I went negative six on the weight jacker. I don't know if that's even going to be if that's going to matter at all. We'll see if like there's any aero push or anything like that. Or maybe the car gets tighter in the draft or something because you're going faster. Not sure. I just moved it to negative eight. I never felt any sort of unstableness at all while practicing. And uh, the only thing I, the only other thing I changed with the Wayne set that Gavin shared, the race set, is uh, the steering offset so the wheel felt a little more straight, because I prefer it that way. But we are ready to go here in just a moment. we got a Hot Wheels Silver Crown in front of us. Basically anybody's scheme in here is better than my boring, cloudy day car. Because it's just gray. But uh, hopefully guys around us are patient. That's what you would hope if they didn't qualify. We will see. Okay, Coach Carr, you're ready. Time to do your job. Go, go, green, go. green, green, green. Alright, nice easy start. That's what I was looking for. We were playing it safe here. Pretty long race at 60 laps. These races are pretty nice and long. Making sure sometimes the spotter doesn't really update you very well at the start of a race. Making sure no one's down there. Nice no time. lifting necessary at all. Not yet, anyway. Some guys going the apron. Really see any reason to do that. Really, but. Okay, maybe a little bit of push there, just a tiny bit. I'm just gonna go full negative 10. Like I said, it's not gonna really do anything, but if at any point I feel tight, then I guess that extra turn will be nice. The goal here is just ride around, be safe. Maybe be a touch easier on the tires than other guys, and maybe have better tires at the end, for what little that matters. And uh, we'll make our moves later. Now is not the time to make the moves. Like I said, no idea if this is a good strategy. Don't race this uh, series enough to really know exactly how it ends up going, other than what I've watched. So. So far, so good, though. Everyone's, uh... Kind of taking it easy, it looks like. Although we do have some guys pretty close by one another over there. A little bit of push. That lap time was 30.5.
Oh, we got a guy hitting the apron. That's a little concerning. Don't be doing that now. Push a little bit here. Don't want to lose the draft, of course. Not really liking that little gap in between right here. That's looking like they're about to lose some... About to split into different groups. Well, Stanton's good in these cars, though. So, can't feel too bad about... Riding around, uh, right about where he is. He knows what he's doing. So that helps me feel a little bit better. About my plan. He looks like he has a similar idea. He's making sure to take the arc into the corner, probably lifting a little bit more than guys around. Maybe taking care of the tires a little bit more. He might, uh, we might be thinking alike. Ooh, that guy's moving around a little bit. Okay, we've broken into two groups here, which is unfortunate. I didn't want to see that. The car in front of us is Allen. The gap to Owens behind is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. That lap time was 30.4. Sure what the holdup is? That white car, maybe? Even with the weight jack or negative 10, it still feels tight. <laughs> so, that's curious. Whoa. A little bit of meandering from some guys around the track. And up and down and all around. guy making the other dude have to check up. You've just done a I recognize him, James. I think he's uh, a Nick Fear as well. I'm pretty sure that's the guy I'm thinking of. And he's pretty good in these cars as well, so like I said, there's some other guys that had the same idea I do here. feel pretty good about my decision making, <laughs> at least right now. Have to assume there's going to be a caution at some point. These races can go green for a while, but I'm thinking with super speedway style racing, we will get a caution at some point. Just hopefully it's not directly in front of me. Prefer not to have to dodge it. Especially because getting on the brakes hard in this car can really make you loop it because of the way it works. So a uh, conservative approach to this race might be a little bit boring off the start here, but it is what I'm believing will give me the best chance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> guy's blinking a lot. A couple guys behind us have lost our draft. At least we have a group to hold on to here, even if... Ooh, maybe some contact up there. Even if uh, it's not the main group. Wow, we've got some really squirrely guys up there. It's and hard, and there's still a lot of race left. I'm not sure why we're not just single file, trying to maybe keep up with the lead group as much as possible, but... It's all right. Nothing I can do about that, so no use squelching about it. Oh, they're really all over the place, aren't they? Sorry, Pablo. They look like they want to wreck. That's just what we can see. Who knows what they're looking like up there. There was an apology just a second ago. So something might have happened. Owens behind is now 
I recognize the Oh! Whoa! Whee! <laughs> I can't believe he saved that. I let off a little bit. Thankfully, I didn't let off enough to lose these guys. Okay, Colton, the next car is Lemon. Guys and gals, there's Laura up there as well. I recognize her as well from these races. Lots of, um... What's the word? Like, routine visitors of the Silver Crowns. We got a lot of people that just run this all the time. It is a very fun car. It's just too bad you don't get as uh, many people running it. I would run it more often, but most of the time I'm only able to race at like 2 a.m. And nobody's racing these at that time, so... That's too bad. They are... Go low, go low. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single... Whoa! Line. All right. You know what happened. Get the six car. Get Thanks, guys, for not being able to drive straight. Yeah, I do question how people can't handle such uh, easy racing like this, but... Uh, we made it through. I think a car flew over my head. I might need a new haircut after this, because I might be bald. On the, uh... <laughs> the center of my scalp might be uh, smoking the top of my head and put out a fire there's a little fire on the top of my head but we survive I think I'm going to uh, try to keep up with the main pack this time that concerned me a little bit that the group broke up into two, so. All right, we survived though. No tires, nothing to, no reason to go down pit lane or anything. Stanton disagrees, Stanton says, I think I'm going to pit road. Did he, oh, he might've gotten damage. It looks like there's some damage on the front of his car. Okay, that's a good reason to come to pit road. That stinks. I'm very lucky. Lucky like a lucky dog that I did not get into that wreck. And lucky that I didn't spin this thing trying to avoid it. Part very, very stable. I don't remember it being this stable, but... Probably because I haven't raced it in forever. I mean, even with negative 10 weight jagger, that was like... Stuck to the surface of the track. Let's see if we can move forward at all here. I'm not really trying to head to the lead or anything, but I just I would like to be part of the main pack if possible. Just uh, reached 5,000 I rating in the last race, uh, the ARCA race, for the first time. So that's a nice little meaningless <laughs> milestone. A cool round number to reach. Um, if I finish where I finish right here, I think I lose it again. That's why it doesn't matter that much, but, uh, still kind of neat. Got a five up there for the first time. Five point okay. That's pretty neat. But for what it is, I like stats and everything, even if they don't mean much. I always like looking at the numbers, looking at like my average finish, average championship points. I really enjoy all that stuff. It's like a big reason why I like baseball so much, all the good statistics. And uh, that's why I'm going to get pushed into a locker for being a big nerd. <laughs> I love statistics. Closed. Pit road is closed. It's closed. Let me put another calculator in my pocket protector. And then I get a swirly in the toilet. But we are. Careful, David might blink back in. About a third of the way through the race. We'll be restarting just after that point. 14th. Can't remember if this is single file restarts or double file. I do remember they added one green-white checkered to this series. Uh, I think I saw that in one of Gavin and Nick's videos. I prefer they didn't, but at least we uh, might be able to finish under green when we might have otherwise not been able to.
This, like, yellow flashing light here always makes me think of, like, those old Simon Says toys. Like, it... Simon Says, press the yellow button. We're it's like a big caution. yellow button, and I'm press it. I click on it a bunch. <laughs> Quality content here on my, ch on my racing channel. Playing Simon Says. Imagine me inside this car, like, in real life, just poking the light. That's what happens when I'm bored under caution. One to go. One to go. It looks like it is single files. That's cool. I enjoy that for what it is. Yeah, Laura in front of us. Manuel in the seven in front of her. Manuel, I think, uh, I think he raced this car in real life along with uh, Pablo, if I'm remembering correctly. They're always in this series. I could be wrong. I might be making that up, but I feel like I remember hearing that a while back. So that's always pretty cool. It's a late night here at Las Vegas. The sky is dark. I wonder if they would ever like add stars to the sky. I guess you couldn't really see them anyway, though, with light pollution at a place like Las Vegas. Interestingly, no one's really protecting the high line here. It's kind of weird. I'm not going to jump the start, obviously. Really hard to see up there, the leader and such. You guys got to quit fucking around on that restart. Outside. So I'm going to my outside. I don't think that's going to be the place to be, though. I'm not sure who the three was complaining about on the restart. I didn't see anything. I don't even know where that guy is, but... Seemed fine to me from where I'm standing. Although I'm not standing in the silver crown. That'd be kind of weird. This thing's dangerous enough. You don't need to be standing in the car. Coming down and hitting the apron just a tiny bit. Don't think there's any harm down there though. Okay. Seem to file pretty much. We got some commotion going on up there. It's hard to move forward. I might uh, need to start thinking about track position a little more if it's going to be this hard to pass. Car feels good. It's just so glued to the track. It's really not much a driver can do other than not wreck themselves or someone else. We got a gap forming for some reason. We've got that colorful yellow and green car. I'm not sure who that is, but got a gap forming in front of them for whatever reason. Just the ten James down there with his damage, probably heading back to the pits. That stinks. Ink is straight on. Huh, that's weird. If you're gonna make a pass, I think you have to do it on the low side. Otherwise, uh, you're just gonna lose all momentum you might have had. Through the corner. I like that that 21 looks like an old Wood Brothers scheme. Even though they didn't choose to be the 21. It's got the red and black. Like when they would have motorcraft on their uh, cars. It's a nice unintentional look. I don't know, maybe it was intentional, I don't know, but. I like it. Oh, 
So approaching back of the 14. See if I can get a nose under at some point. Brandon, try that move on me. I fucking dare you. Oh. They're holding up something, man. Is that who we got up ahead? We lost the draft because of the weird restart, not because I'm slow. Again, do it, I dare you. Oh my goodness. Oh! oh. Big yikes. Okay, we're okay. Hey, now I can get the later. Pit road is closed right now. Left up, not really down. sure what that was. But... Gavin's gonna think. Down there, I do apologize. Gavin's gonna no, no, think no, no, that uh, those there. guys yelling at each other wrecked each other. I think that's what happened, though. Go out, he yell. So we're fine. Still some cautions. Made it through that one as well. Got some big ones <laughs> in the Silver it's Crown series tonight. Right. I don't want to burn this fuel off as much as possible. I don't know if there's a way to do that. Maybe I can hold the brake and use the throttle. This car, it really matters when you can uh, have lighter fuel. It makes the car noticeably faster. So... I'm gonna do that. Who yeah. picked up schedule this season anyway? Get that fuel out of here. I thought the community made it. Yeah, I can tell if the community made it. It's all open track. We're halfway in the race. So we're full throttling it right now. But holding the brakes, trying to burn some fuel off. Because okay, we have way too much. That was the one that picked it. I put some input in on which track we're going where schedule wise, but he was pretty adamant on two mile and a half. I made sure that get as many two tracks as long as I could, like the fairgrounds and Darlington and whatnot. Yeah. If there were two lanes, I would have no problem with a mile and a half, but it's a bottom set here. Yeah, it would be fun if we had multi groove Yeah. 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 These aren't broadcasts anymore, are they? Uh, <laughs> depends on what you mean by broadcasting. I took the I don't have a camera, off, but I was busy. <laughs> it's open. I don't think we're broadcast right now. Only someone actually did a broadcast on the of the series in the past. That's interesting. No, nope. no, nope. we, we may, may start, start doing, doing it again, it again at, at some point in the near future, but I'm not, not entirely sure, sure yet. yet. It's being discussed. That's all I do know. Did they update anything on the car? The last two seasons? Nope, nope. It's a it broke the, uh, the, uh, steering with visually yeah. learning that now. Yeah, I just, my old trusty setup for every track doesn't work anymore then, huh? Hmm. Yeah, the yeah. steering looks like people yeah. all around us are on controller. Eerie. Eerie. Yeah, there's a visual glitch that you might have noticed. The front left tire um, pointed a weird direction. That's just a visual glitch is all that is. It's weird. I haven't raced this car in a long time, but I remember some great multi-groove racing at places like Chicagoland in the past. It's too bad we don't have that right now. Chicago Chicagoland is still like still that, like and Michigan, Michigan is still good, good for two wide, wide, but for, for some, some reason, reason here, here in, in Atlanta... Atlanta not, not, and these were the ones run that he wanted on the on schedule since they, they hadn't been running run eons. Eon. Hmm. But, right. like I said, I tried to talk to him. I tried to talk him out of it. I'm like, people don't want to run these mile and a half in this car. James, the hero we deserve. 
Right, because you can't push in those cars and when it's full. So I mean, you I mean, can, you push, can push, push if you know what you're doing. doing. That sounds like a horrible idea. You wouldn't try it. You can Once definitely you push in this car. Right, I've done right. it. Please don't. Please don't tell me. Someone's gonna try to bump draft me in this car. They can just. I will roll out the red carpet. You can go on by and try to bump draft someone else because I don't want any part of that. I mean, just look at the rear of this car. It's like pointed. You're really gonna line up your car right on that point? I mean, maybe it works better than I think, but I will pass on that offer. Thank you. Hopefully, get a nice start here. Hopefully, no, no one loses front pack. Twelfth place, not too bad. Got to remember, it is a pretty strong hey, field. There's a real shit show now. The apron's open for everybody. So everybody just send it to the AV. Nah, I'm using it. About to go green. Stay focused. No, I know. It's legal. That's what I'm saying. I want to see this race get real entertaining. I want some three and four wide bullshit. Both car is off. You have to do your job. They want to make it entertaining, don't they? Green flag. Green flag. Okay, bye. B13. I guess that was a bad start, but kind of just, it's hard to see up there, the leader and all that. Outside. Didn't really want to be on here, but I was afraid he was going to expect me to be there. That was a low Still there. Clear high. Alright, getting a little interesting now. This car definitely does not drive how I remember. That's okay. Well, maybe it, maybe it does. It's just this track isn't a very good fit. That's okay. Check up a little bit into the corner there. I was afraid I was going to approach too quickly. Keep pushing, Mabo. Oh. It's nowhere to go. Can't go to the outside. It's not viable. For mistake, I guess. Your last lap time was at thirty point four. What I'm supposed to do here? <laughs> Clock at the bottom, there's nothing I can do.
car outside. Keep low. If you can make it around the outside, more power to him. I just don't think it's possible. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. That was an opening we needed. Stay low. The yellow. Good consistency. Still there. Keep coming. Clear high. Car outside. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Time was 30.4. Just uh, gonna hang out here, I think. There's no reason to try to pass him. If anything, we just gotta try to keep up as much speed as we can. Best combo though, I don't think, in terms of racing, because there's just really not much you can do. It's like super speedway racing, but single groove. <laughs> Which, uh, it's kind of as bad as it sounds. Might be catching up though. Some guys ahead. That's interesting. We'll see if that happens or not. What's up, you running, James? Me? Yeah. This week's team wants a racing setup. Set up. My chunk doesn't work anymore. I'm done. I can't even push anymore. Yeah, no, this shit is, uh, this is stuck. Okay, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. We're doing everything we can, just trying to be fast on the course. This track fucking horrible. We should not be on the schedule. Yeah, I don't think any full throttle track should be on the schedule, to be honest. What's that? I don't think any uh, track that would be full thought on this car should be on the schedule. Yeah, I totally agree. They want you in single file. Close, pit road is closed. A little bit of confusion behind us as we're checking out. That was a little scary. Alright, we're going to start P11. Hopefully not get a terrible jump this time. Top 10 would be great, but... I need to get better at these starts. I really don't know. It's hard to tell whenever they're going. Turn some more fuel again. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. All right. Well, we're nearing the end of this thing. We've moved forward. Just by holding my bottom line. 
So we're kind of just marching. Oh, we're actually a tent. Okay. Interesting. It's interesting. It's because uh, the person who crashed. I wonder what happened. I didn't necessarily see what happened. Car 17, got the lucky dog, let them past on the outside. So we're burning some fuel. This car's kind of look like lighters from behind, so it makes sense to be Let burning things. This doesn't look like uh, like the top of the lighter, like the back of the seat there. <laughs> so it, it always looks like a lighter to me. I'm not a pyromaniac, I swear. <laughs> So it's going to be a bit of a dash to finish here. Hopefully we don't see too many dumb moves. I'm sure guys are going to be desperate because it's just so impossible to pass. We might get some guys making some really strange decisions. Hopefully nothing too bad. I'm content finishing in the top ten if I can. How are people doing up front? Where did Gavin go? Did Gavin get wrecked at some point? Uh-oh, Gavin got wrecked a long time ago. That sucks. I didn't even realize that happened. Well darn, I was hoping to, if uh, we got back up there, I was hoping I'd get the chance to race with him, but it doesn't look like it. We still got Mitch up there. Good Had some great closed. races with him. Got 10 left to go. It's closed. In the league. He is in that number four right there. Lots of like red and orange cars around. So what is it? A eight lap shootout we're gonna have? I believe that's correct. It's gonna be go time. This restart's gonna be absolutely crucial. And I'm not very good at restarting in this car, it looks like, so. Mercifully, this thing is coming to an end soon. Unfortunately, not a very fun race. Like I mentioned uh, earlier, like I've had some really great mile and a half track races. Like Chicago Land, you can run the high line there really well, and you can run the lower line, and uh, they're pretty equal, so it, it can be really fun. But here, it's low line or bust. So, little bit of a snoozer because of that. You uh, get some <laughs> action whenever you gotta dodge cars bouncing toward you. But other than that, not much you can do. I just hope we can stay with a uh, with the lead pack here and uh, see what we can we can pull off. We're up on the bumper. Guys ahead. Hopefully we, I really hope we can get a good start get here. Ready. Going green. The pace car is in. Guys, okay, jumping the start. You better get a penalty for that. Hey. Clear outside. 
I hope that 11 has a penalty. He just straight up jumped the start. Like He's on the outside anyway. I think he's going to get uh, himself passed again. Car outside. Clear. Yeah, he has a penalty the way he's lifting off there. He knows it. Come on, guys. Come on, three. You can run. Keep up. Got some space. I can try something here. This is more fun when I'm trying to do something. Inside. Side draft? Is that a thing? Stay high. There's, a There's just no side. way. Clear. Five left to go. Lost the lead group. I think the three has damage or something. I thought I heard him say something about that earlier. If Mitch decides to pull out here, I will follow him, try to give him draft. Even if it ends up not helping me. I want to try something, and uh, I'm willing to be a teammate to him, since I know him a little bit. If that moment comes... A little shake and bake. <laughs> I don't know if that's a wise move, though. I feel like we're just going to get stuck on the outside if we try a move. Two left to go. Two to go. It's got to do it at the right spot, too, though. Like, I, uh, I will follow him, but it's got to be at a good time. Like, I don't know. Diving to the outside right before the corner or something that might be the best idea. If he gets a good run out of a corner... Maybe, maybe, maybe. White flag, stay smooth. White flag, last lap. Come on, Mitch, you can do it. It's not gonna work. So I'm sorry, Mitch. I gotta dump you here. He still got me. <laughs> Good one, Tommy. And there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well done. Flag. Hell yeah, we start there. Screwed up a bunch of people. They got black flags there. And way back and then moving up. Ooh. Yeah, I did not time that right. Eighth place. I'll take it. My restart? Yeah, we knew it was way back, and then he moved right, right up to the base car at the end. A lot of people got accordion way back there and got black flags. Yeah, there was one restart. I literally misread the freaking thing and thought I had one lap to go. And so that's all me good. I totally, as I did, I was like, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't realize it caused a wreck though. Um, it's just gone. I was just gonna say, I tried to give you some support there at the end, but there's just, there's no way. It's not working here. This is single groove.
strictly. Like I tried to give him a little bit of draft there, but it wasn't going to happen. He still finished ahead of me by 15 thousandths of a second. But uh, we stayed out of any wrecks with our zero X and uh, got ourselves an eighth place. Uh, interestingly enough, giving us eight I rating uh, estimated. So um, essentially breaking even here, I guess. Got some safety rating and, uh, you know, I'm just glad I was able to participate in one of these. Could have been a better combo, but happy to be here, like I said. <laughs> um, we'll take a look at what did happen. We'll see what happened to Gavin, for example. Lap 2. Which gets the apron just a tiny bit. I think I did that a couple times, too. It doesn't really do too much. We're going to see it any time it happens, I think. But gets the car a little wobbly for a moment, but usually nothing too bad. It's kind of just like a big bump down there. Ooh. Hot Wheels almost entered a little too hot there. <laughs> hot Wheels entering hot. Got that done. 22 trying to enter from the apron, apparently. He looks like he is ready to plow into people and do it while blinking. It's all very interesting. Where is Seven going? I'm using the apron to get below him. That was kind of a jerk move, to be honest. He's got a big run. He just absolutely forces it down there. He, he doesn't even clear him. He just pushes into his tire. And of course, the 17's not going to be too willing to give him room if he's just going to bully his way through. So, thankfully it didn't cause a, a wreck, but that was a little over-aggressive by the 7, in my opinion. Getting on that uh, scene there, and we're bump drafting. Still don't think that's a good idea. Some guys claim you can do it, but I think the 17's trying to wreck the 7 now because he's upset and he's only hurting himself. Well, that didn't really work out too well. So I was going to get the little bit of the apron down there. Nothing happening here. Oh, wow. That was significant, that code. That's some of the worst I've seen in a while. Just to show the tires don't matter, 97, 95 did basically nothing. Wow, that's some of the worst I've seen in a long time. 18 from Texas, 17. They're both from Texas. Why did that happen? Is it the 22? He's been blinking. He's from the Midwest. There's, I don't see why the net code would be that bad right there. That's awful. Thankfully, it looks like everybody keeps it together. Some more of that apron. 22 is entering so low. He's running into the back of people on entry over and over again, and he finally just takes someone out. Like, you could see that coming. Is this the one Gavin got caught up in? Where is Gavin? Gavin's ahead of it, so this is not the one, the one he got caught up in. Yeah, this is where he was way up here. Well, <laughs> let's watch me get through it, because I was dangerously close to this. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Two cars almost took me out. Got Hot Wheels bouncing off the wall and this guy doing a tornado spin move. Thankfully, I anticipated needing to turn down the track and was able to do so without crashing myself. So that was pretty scary. There's a thumbnail in there somewhere. And like I said, when these things crash, they look like popcorn. Just <laughs> bouncing around. That sucks for James. He's uh, trying to get around with a broken car. Fortunately, he was unable to do, do so successfully. Sure, that's pretty frustrating. Ooh. What happened here? Is that Gavin up here? It is. That's an interesting one. So I think what happened here 
is Gavin saw that the 12 was giving a ton of space, and so he's like, okay, I'm going to get a better angle into the corner, just a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit. But then the 12 was already planning to take a big dive into the corner. And so when the 12's taking his dive down, Gavin is already kind of setting up to make a dive of his own to get a better angle. And so the 12 is not expecting Gavin to be as high up the track. He just turns down into him. He just turns in way too early anyway, though. Like, you can see the angle he's going. That's too too steep of an angle, especially if there's going to be a car below you. So, I think the 12 apologized for that. I think I remember hearing him say, sorry, that's on me. I think that's what led to all that. And Gavin goes for a real ride, looking like a Beyblade. <laughs> Let her rip. That sucks. And another caution for that, of course. There's me being stuck in the train. Just having to be patient. There's nothing I can do. Trying to wait for a mistake if any does occur, but Laura never made one. I think the only mistake, quote unquote, she made was going up a lane. I think was anticipating the second lane to have a better run later in the race, but it didn't go anywhere because this track is not a good fit for this car. And the bottom lane is the only one that works. And that lost to that spot. That's why I was so adamant about just keeping that bottom line. Because I just knew that it was never going to work. No matter how hard you wanted it. So, is that Mitch? Yeah, Mitch. Using the apron to get on the inside of the 16. But that'll, that'll be on him. Because, obviously you can run the apron. But it is on you. Uh, if you're going to take it. I'm sure he knows this. I'm not lecturing him, but just for anyone that doesn't know, it's on you to get back to the racing surface safely if you go below the apron. So at this point when he's on his inside, the 16 does not have to move over for him. Just because he got alongside him by getting on the apron, the 16 does not have to concede this, his positioning for someone below the apron. A lot of people do to be safe. And that's what Mitch, I think, was counting on. But it didn't happen. The 16 held his, uh, held his ground, and then they came together there. So I would call that on Mitch. It looks like he backs off there and recognizes he uh, made a mistake and got into him. So that's an honorable move there by Mitch. <laughs> I know he's a great racer. He knows what he's doing. So um, that was obviously an accident. And everybody saved it, so no harm done. Here the guy's just going to get a little bit of apron, I think, there. She's doing it again, though. Rex him. I'm sorry, Mitch. That's that's on you. I'm sorry, man. 16 doesn't have to give that to you. You know, I'd be a little upset if I were the 16. Like I said, I know Mitch is a good racer, but I don't... Uh... I don't know if that was a good move. I think he's expecting the 16 to give him room, but he doesn't. It's pretty aggressive as the 16 to just hold your ground like that, but it doesn't mean that he's at fault for the accident. 16's aggressive here, aggressively holds his ground as Mitch is being aggressive, and then uh, it crashes him. Mitch gets away with it, the 16 is not, so that kind of stinks. And then the 11, did he get a penalty for that? Yes, he did. Unless he was in a later wreck. No, I think he got a penalty. I think he came into the pits. Yeah, he definitely jumped that start. I'm sure he was, like me, really hoping to get a good jump on that one, but he overdid it. They were not going yet. See, he's going here. The green's not even out yet. I guess I could have gotten a better jump, but I didn't think they were going yet. Uh, oh yeah, and then what happened here? The 21, I did apologize for this. Oh yeah, I don't know why he's coming up the track like that. 
think he just got to hold the white line right there. I don't think uh, the 7 anticipated him to be coming up the track at all. That's strange. I keep in it and get around him. We get some free spots. Not how you like to make them, but you will take them however you can get them whenever it's impossible to pass otherwise. So I maneuver that, get around them. And uh, with the 18, or the 11 getting a penalty, that'll put me, I think, uh, into 8th at the end here. And speaking of the end, that is it. So um, I'll take a look real quick at uh, the this final push, trying to help Mitch around him. Like I said, I wanted to support Mitch if he was going to try it, even if I didn't think it was going to happen. So I, I try to push him there, even though the bottom is working, but then I see the three is inching ahead, and I'm like, you know, I'm real. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to give Mitch the push. I give it to, get to him all the way down. He doesn't clear him, though. So at this point, I'm like, I just, I've got to come down here. This is the place to be. Got to do this for myself here, but still wasn't enough to get around, around him out there. I don't know. Would I have been able to push Mitch past him if I stayed up there? I don't know. I feel like if I stay up there, someone else is going to come around me. Like, I, uh, I don't know. I apologize to Mitch if I let him, I left him out to dry there, but it didn't look like it was going to work, so I had, I abandoned it. I didn't have enough faith. <laughs> I abandoned the idea. I don't know, but, and at the end of the day, you just can't pass, really. There's really nothing you can do. Single, single file racing, but uh, at least we got to the end safely. Uh, fortunately, Gavin did not. And I had a couple of wrecks. But I'll take it. Solid finish here. And, like I said, just happy to be here in the Silver Crown. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, maybe I'll get another chance to race this again sometime. But for now, I will. See you next time. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching.